Good morning. I spent a lot of time yesterday uh, looking at uh, testing equipment and uh, I just want to briefly run over the uh, equipment that I've selected uh, for this project. Uh, the first item is the voltage and uh, amp tester and data logger. I, I talked a little bit about it in the last video and what I like about this is uh, it gives you the uh, uh, volt reading on the positive and the negative electrodes so you get a some feedback on what's happening in the half cell reactions um, and of course you can set the dis, uh, discharge load from uh, one uh, milliamp I think up to about three amps so I can test any size uh, cell uh, with this really easy. Um, now the next item is a dual temperature probe tester and data logger and uh, I, I like this one because you could set the uh, the temperature range on uh, separately on each probe if you want and uh, also the Fahrenheit and uh, in Fahrenheit or centigrade and uh, what else you can uh, with the dual probes I'll be able to uh, test the, the uh, temperature on on both uh, electrodes and so that'll uh, be able to uh, use that uh, data then to calculate uh, how much uh, uh, heat the battery is pulling out of the environment and converting into uh, electricity. Uh, now the third piece of equipment is, a, is an oxygen sensor. It's not a data logger um, but it's small enough that I can put it in right inside the, uh, the glass dome and uh, read the meter through the, uh, through the glass and uh, I'll just take a, a manual reading at the begin end of each uh, charge and, dis and discharge. So, uh, and it, I think it, it takes a one a tenth uh, of a percent uh, increments on that. And uh, let's see what else. The the next item that you'll you'll see is a, is a carbon dioxide sensor, and it is a data logger, and um, that. Uh, will go outside the dome. I'll have run the sensors inside the dome. And what I liked about this one is it, its sample rate is up to 100 samples per second, which is really fast. And uh, in the test time, you can set it up for uh, up to two days, and you get a nice, uh, I think it's uh, in uh, hundreds of a percent uh, increments on that one. And uh, just push button start and stop on the thing, or you can set it up to it'll do automatically. Now, since the since the bio cell is a uh, self charging thing, uh, I don't have to really open that uh, environment up. I can just uh, discharge it and let it self charge back up and discharge it over. And I could actually set it on a cycle to do to do that and just uh, let the data loggers log everything, which would be kind of cool. Um, okay, and, uh, the next item is the micro pH probes. Now, this is where it starts to get, to get expensive. Uh, uh, and I, I found one that I liked because it's nice and thin and it's, and it's long. And the, to take the pH, it's got to be done right on the right on the electrodes because that's where the, your pH uh, changes the most. So, uh, and ideally, this should be. Uh, right next to the electrode or even inside the electrode and I've, I've found a way I can stick this actually inside the electrode and uh, that's uh, I'll show you that with the, the next item which is some graphite felt that I found kind of excited about this stuff because uh, it's, it's uh, conductivity it's, it's the resistance is about one ohm which is really cool and it's an eighth inch thick and there's a lot of surface area there, so uh, it's really a, a great should make a great uh, electrode with a built-in uh, activated carbon in it. You know, a lot of surface area, and I can and I can shove that uh, micro pH probe right into this stuff, and so it that'll hold it right in place. It should be uh, perfect for taking the, the pH of the cell. Uh, ideally, I need two of those, one on the positive and the neg and the negative. But I'm just going to start with the uh, uh, with the one in, in the positive uh, graphite felt paper. And uh, let's see. Oh, and now the last item is an industrial uh, pH control board. 
Now these things, if you buy them already in nice boxes and everything like that, they can go up to $10,000. And I was just amazed at how expensive it, it was. But anyway, I found the, the board uh, for about 150 bucks. And so, and of course then you have to add your probes and stuff like that to it, but uh, it's a hell of a lot cheaper that way. And it, it's also got data log, and another thing I liked about it was uh, it has a, uh, an, a temperature sensor too. And I can use that temperature sensor to just uh, measure the temperature inside the dome. So uh, that way I have, I know what the environmental temperature is, and that'll help with calculations for how much uh, uh, heat uh, the battery is, is pulling out. So um, basically, uh, that's, the, that's the setup right there. And it looks like it's about 500 bucks. I've already got the, the volt and amp meter uh, ordered. I've got the dual temperature probe meter ordered. And uh, I've got the graphite felt paper ordered. And uh, I've got the O2 sensor ordered already. So uh, as it comes in, I'll set it up and we'll start taking some really, really good data. Thanks for watching.